and what is up guys it is so canadian gamer and we are back and today guys i'm going to be showing you a very quick tutorial on how to install spit tires mods in a super easy way um first thing you're going to need is jsgme and the links for this as well as any other tools you might need are down below in the description um so once you have an extraction tool such as WinZip or winrar uh you're going to right click this bad boy right here and you're going to extract it to any directory you wish. Uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. So we're just gonna extract that, bring over the new folder, open it up. And we are after the contents right here. So the mods folder, the text, uh, the actual exe, everything. Um, and we're gonna be taking that and copying it over to the spin tires directory. So we'll go to the spin tires directory and I actually have a shortcut, nice and convenient. Um, but if you have the retail copy or you might even have it installed on a different hard drive, it could be in a different directory. Uh, regardless, it doesn't really matter. You just want to go to wherever the spintires.exe is. And within here, as you can see, I've actually copied everything over already. Um, but we're going to go back to JSGME and you're going to hit Control A on your keyboard to select everything. And then you can hit Control C to copy. Uh, we'll go back over to the spintires directory and you're going to hit Control V. And I've, of course, already installed it. So I'm going to hit cancel. Um, and once you've done that, you're going to have a mods folder. So we need to actually get some mods now. Um, now, I would recommend ov.co.uk or spintares.nl. I will put a link down below for those two websites. Um, but once you've downloaded your mod in whatever format, so zip or whatever it is, uh, I actually have the SID91 ram charger right here um so i'm going to right click it once again and extract it to anywhere doesn't really matter bring over the new folder we'll open it up once again and this is where it gets a little bit tricky so uh with these particular folders um it's going to be folders within folders within folders um now the critical thing you're after is the media folder so once i once you navigate to the media folder as a rule of thumb what i generally do um, is I will just go back one step in my Explorer and then copy that folder. Um, the media folder is actually where all the contents of the mod are. But in order for this to work correctly for me anyways, I have to go to the media folder, go back one step, and then copy that over. So that's what we're going to do. We'll hit Control C on our keyboard again. We'll go back over to the spin tires directory, and we're going to go to our handy dandy mods folder that should now be in your spin tires directory. Uh, we'll hit Control V on the keyboard to paste that in there. And then we'll go back and open up jsgme.exe. Now you can make a shortcut by right clicking and hitting create shortcut if you so desire. Once you have that opened up though, uh, on the left hand column, you should see all of your mods that you have available. And it's pretty easy to activate them. You just click on one. So we'll click on the 91 RAM charger and we will activate that bad boy. And Bob's your uncle. We should be good to go now. We'll hit close. And maybe what we'll do is open up spin tires just to verify that this is actually working or I've given you guys terrible advice. So we'll open up. Let's just go with the river. Start a new game. Yes. And it looks like we're good to go, guys. So there is the Ram charger um, that we just installed. Um, but yeah, guys, it's been so Canadian Gamer. And if you guys enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form, please hit that like button. If you want to see more content, please hit that subscribe button. It's been good, guys. Peace.